Dear ladies and gentlemen, I would like to present you our study on transcutaneous tibial nerve stimulation in female patients with overactive bladder syndrome. Our results are from our clinical experience. Transcutaneous tibial nerve stimulation, we will refer to it as TTNS, is a relatively new treatment which is promising. It's a route of electrical stimulation for overactive bladder syndrome. Percutaneous tibial nerve stimulation has good, robust clinical clinical evidence and recommended in guidelines of overactive bladder. TTNS in overactive bladder syndrome There is still evidence lacking despite data have been published showing its efficacy compared to PTNS. However, clinicians have started to use it widely due to its non-invasive and easy application features. Our aim to was to explore clinical efficacy of TTNS in female We retrospectively analyzed medical records of patients in our pelvic floor rehabilitation unit from 2018 until 2020. We included patients, female, who are over 18 years old with a diagnosis of overactive bladder. They were intolerant to overactive bladder medications and they were treated with TTNS. We excluded patients receiving any other treatments for TTNS at the same time period. TTNS treatment regimen was 30 minutes for each session. Twice weekly sessions performed for 6 weeks as a total number of 12 sessions. TTNS was delivered transcutaneously by surface electrodes with a frequency of 10 Hz. In some patients, there was maintenance treatment for once a week for six weeks period. All patients informed were informed about overactive bladder, with about bladder training and lifestyle modifications. Patients signed informed consent for treatment. We extracted their age, body mass index, type of overactive bladder, as wet or dry, and the duration of their complaints. Our outcome measures were three-day bladder diary, including frequency, urgency, incontinence, nocturnal, and nocturnal incontinence. We used international consultation on incontinence questionnaire short form as quality of life data, overactive bladder V8 questionnaire, and visual analog scale for patient reported symptom severity of the last three days. A total of 66 patients were extracted. They were female patients with overactive bladder treated with TTNS from the database. We excluded 11 patients due to discontinuation and 55 patients' data were included in the analysis. Mean patient age was 48.9, mean body mass index was 29. Mean duration of overactive bladder syndrome was 48 months. Four patients were dry and 51 patients were wet overactive bladder. There were non-adverse events in, during the treatments. Adherence was 83%. When we look at our results, outcome of TTNS treatments. In our scores, in the questionnaires and in the diary, we all have reduced in the symptom severity. When we look at the results, in the overactive bladder V8 score, in ICIQF SF score, in the visual analog scale, they were all statistically significant. In the 3-day bladder diary, voiding frequency, urgency, ur and urinary
In female overactive bladder patients, TTNS treatment seems effective, especially in reducing incontinence and urgency symptoms. However, nocturia, nocturnal incontinence, and PET test results were not statistically significant, although they were reduced. Our data is limited due to its lack of sham or control group. However, cumulative data from clinical experiences with TTNS can give clinicians a better perspective for this relatively new treatment. As a result, TTNS is a well-tolerated treatment by the patients and is preferred method for Results from our database show that TTNS is safe and effective in female patients with overactive bladder syndrome. Randomized controlled trials in larger patient populations are needed to prove this efficacy. TTNS and its clinical implications like parameters of electrical stimulation, treatment schedules, and efficacy in other patient populations are subject to explore for future trials. Thank you for listening.